and for some reason people speculate that they are the descendants of the Zoras, which is kind of strange because that would have to be crossbreeding. I do not know. Leave it to the timeline theorists and whatnot. I mean, they get paid for it literally these days, I, I think. Well, have you discovered the cause of Great Vulu's anger? No! So I'm out of here. Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perched atop the island? He seemed normal to me. He wasn't raging at all. As you can see, we of the Rittle tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit Velu. When a Ritto reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Ritto to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Velu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Velu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless and in times our very way of life will be threatened. Yea, they have to fly to deliver letters after all. They can't just get boats. As Chieftain of the Ritto, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct, my son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may have just given up all, given up over getting them. Yeah. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yes. Okie dokie. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. This is the third and final bag of the game, the delivery bag. Finely crafted bags like this are used by Ritto postmen everywhere. Like you can see, Quill carries one on his back. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Up to eight. That's not much at all. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Volu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. So, upstairs. We're gonna meet some girl. Named Medley. Here she is, and she's kinda cute. She's a cute girl, but I know a cuter girl. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit Velu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. I got the letter out of Medley's butt. You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. It is a letter from Darth Vader addressed to Luke Skywalker with the sad truth. 
Since you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, use the delivery bag on the item screen and set this letter to a button, blah blah blah. The room way in the back of the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Link. I have a small favour I'd like to ask of you. Anything for a pretty girl like you? Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Guru's cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Dragon Rule's Cavern, it's actually going to be the next dungeon in this game. Right, so. All the way back here is where Prince Kamali hangs out. So, in the room, there's a guy. He looks kind of depressed. A little emo, if you will. So here's our delivery bag. There's Father's letter. But now let's have a look around here. Huh, we got ducks. What does he have his clothes? He has the same clothes. Huh. Alright, so here he is playing around with his giant ball. It's very shiny. What is that? Huh? Who are you supposed to be? I am a delivery boy. A letter from my father. Look at this guy, he, he's so emo. Poor guy. Oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he has, still has to go get a scale from Valu. You're in this lair too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Piss. That's just a big fat lie. That's. It's easy to say you can do anything. But if you try, you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find a me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to the loo, then I'll listen to anything you say. Shiny. What? Oh, this? It's strange. Holding this calms me down. I forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called Din's Pearl. My grandma gave it to me. That's what we need! Hand it over! Hand it over and I'll leave you alone! My grandma used to be Vulu's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Vulu's language. Oh, grandma. If she were here, I know she could calm Vulu down. I just know it. But my father and the rest, no matter how hard they try, they'll fail. I know it. No one else can calm Vulu down. It's impossible. Dude, you are depressed beyond belief. What? What is it, huh? Listen, you can stare all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure. You understand? I'm not going to just hand it over to some do-nothing guy, am I? Do-nothing guy, you say? Well, in that case, I... I don't... I don't need your help. I already have a telescope, and that was someone else's treasure. Well, that's taken care of. We have to su see Medley to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern and randomly bang our head on stairs. This is the entrance. Um, hey, give me some info. If you want to get to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out. There's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for Swinner Quest, well, you need war for that, and the ponds are dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the Chief Chen will think of something. Well, unless there's something we can do. Huh, dried up bomb flowers. Wow, what a place. Alright, Medley's down there. Oh, and there's steam coming out here. It'll actually push you to aside if it hits you. Come on, I need a demonstration.
I don't think it's coming out. Oh, look at this. Hey, you actually came. Yeah, I came. I came for you. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see, this place, there used to be a spring here surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was so peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and, in his rage, he shook the mountain and his boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to brain for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honoured to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsuppressed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask you, but I need your help. I want to go to a small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost. But that ledge over there is so high up. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could help you. I'm sure I could get up there, so will you help me? Sure. Woo, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Oh, great. Princess Ruto all over again. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric conditions are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Basically, the ashes. The direction they're blowing. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. From as hard as you can. Very well, Medley. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm holding you up high. Oh, sorry, I dropped you. Okay, you want me to throw you up there? Will do! Uh. Uh. I'm fine. That didn't really hurt. What am I saying? Oh, yeah. One, once more, with the wind. Toss away, please. She wants me to toss away with her. Okay. Tossing away now. Oh, sorry. My, what beautiful stars! Twinkle, twinkle! Where were we? Oh yeah, oh, once more, with the wind, toss away please. She still wants me to toss away. Alright, I'll toss away. Huh? Ugh. Link, since when did you become triplets? No, I'm five. I mean file. Fine! Come on, don't hold back. You use the wimp, uh, wind, and really toss me. Uh, what's with all this? What's with all this kinkiness? Well, anyway, just stand on here, face that ledge over there, and wait for the wind to start blowing towards it. Go! She clearly had a scale from Valu once. Oh, thank you. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the great Valu. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamale. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. She gives us an empty bottle. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Once again, four empty bottles in this game, and this one is a requirement. On please don't tell anyone I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? It's a secret to everybody, dear. Well, good luck to both of us. But we have to go after her. So here's our new bottle. Swing in! There's no fooling around, we need water. You filled your bowl with water, try pouring on something that looks dry and withered. We did see something, those bomb flowers. 
Maybe the water will work. Because with the bomb flowers, we could probably blow up that boulder. So, just revitalize one bomb flower. And then we need to throw it down here. And reuse source material from the dongle's cavern. Yay. I mean, the fact that the angle changes to view the boulder. It's so much like Ocarina of Time. In fact, this game is a follow-up to Ocarina of Time. It does take place 100 years afterwards. Alright, so now the spring fills up again and we can swim across. There used to be a bridge here, but that's gone. It broke. Alright. Okay, we just got a little, little something else we need to do. Watch out for the lava. You need to throw bombs. Oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. I had to scratch my head. You need to throw bombs, these bomb flowers, into these jars the statues are holding to bring them down. And we make a path. And this here is the entrance to the second dungeon, Dragon Roost Cavern. But. Uh, I want to stop right there. I have enough for three videos, at the least, and at the most. Okay, so next time on Wind Waker, I don't know when that'll be. I have to wait for my Wii to come back. But whenever I see you lot again, we will be going into Dragon Roost Cavern. So until next time, see you later. And I'm also going to be saying that to my Wii. Until next time, see you later, my week console. Have fun and be safe. Toss me. Toss away. Toss away. Really toss me. Really toss me.